What's happening, everybody? You like my intro song I do pretty much every time? No, it really annoys the hell out of me, but That's hey. incredibly <laughs> rude. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, so we just finished up our Wednesday show, and before I head out, I'm going to do a little bit of little bit of impromptu extra sourcing for the week, just saying. Um, we wanted to get do our You Tell Us segment for the week. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be cool to talk about listing process. Um, and so uh, let's just get into it because you're going to do some listing right now. Mm -hmm. What is your listing process? So I usually set aside at least one day a week to just do photos and I photograph everything all at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. And then my photos are uh, uploaded onto my computer. Um, doesn't really matter how you get your photos onto your computer or your phone, whoever you're, way you're going to do it. I, I list exclusively on my laptop. I don't, um, I don't ever list on my phone. I know a lot of people swear by using their phones. Uh, for me, I find the process way clunkier on the phone. I don't think the app is anywhere near as user-friendly mm -hmm. or as intuitive as the, the computer is. So uh, for me, uh, it's old school. I'm, I'm on my computer. Um, right. So like yeah. right now, you're about to start um, listing these mugs that you have. So those have already, yep. you've already got the pictures taken of those. Yep. Right? Yep. And so what is your first thing that you do? So basically, I usually have eBay open on two different screens on my computer. So I'm going to do, I usually, I will search for the item. Mm -hmm. So I have not looked at comps or anything like this. So these are uh, Starbucks mugs. So uh, so I'm going to look and just see. So you kind of do your research just before you look. Yeah, it. I do my research as I go. So these are the mugs right here. Mm -hmm. um, and I have three of them. I'm going to list them as a lot. So I'll just take a look and see what the others are listed for. Um Tiger Lily, whatever. Um, and then I'll generally look at solds to get a general idea. Mm -hmm. um, and the solds are not so great, right? So it looks like there have only been a few solds and they're not selling for a heck of a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go in and I create my listing. Every listing I do, I do cold. So um, I'll go in and do listing, create listing, and then I just build a title. Mm -hmm. So I'll put in... Uh, Starbucks Tiger Lily mug set of three uplifting. Okay, so then I'll it usually pops up in the in the correct category, and I'll mm -hmm. pick the category. Bam! So there you go. So you're gonna do your listing from there, um, and then you've already got your pictures taken. So you're like doing your whole listing all the way to completion in one sitting. Correct, and then I upload it once I'm done. Mm-hmm. And that's how, that's how I do it too. Like I do all my pictures usually in one day, um, along with my measurements and everything. And then like, if you're doing clothing, you do your measurements as you do your listing. Right. So you as, I'm, as I'm creating this, this item, this listing right here, I'm, I'm going to be measuring my item, you know, as I'm going, I have my scale right to the right of me. I'm going to weigh it as I'm going. So I can put the correct weight in and the correct mm. measurements. Um, I do everything cold. I start every listing new. I know a lot of people use templates and templates are great. Um, the only thing I use uh, templates for is I use the Sizely templates to plug in my yeah. my measurements, but I don't use pre, uh, pre-made templates. I I do every listing cold, yeah. start to finish. If I'm not distracted by something, once I have my you know, assuming my photos are already done, each listing is going to take me about two to three minutes. Yeah, awesome. And so like I do all my pictures in one day, and then I do my measurements and my weights at the same time, and then those get put away. So when I'm actually when I am actually doing my listings, I don't have my stuff right next to me. But similarly to Vicky, when I sit down, depending on what it is, if I need to look it up to look at comps, I will. If I don't, let's say it's just a t-shirt and it's not nothing, not like a special event or anything like that, mm -hmm. it's just a vintage t-shirt. I just go to one of my old listings uh, that's already up and hit sell similar and then just change around the information. But similarly, I start the listing and I finish it and post it all in one go. Mm -hmm. um, now I know other people do it differently. They create drafts there isn't, or they use templates yeah. or things like that. And there's no right or wrong way, one way to do anything. I think yeah. whatever works for you is best. I But I do think that some people make it more complicated than it needs to mm -hmm. be, right? So if you're if you're touching a listing or you're opening a listing or a draft like seven times or something like that, yeah, that's a bit excessive. So I think you need to find the best way to streamline your process, whatever that mm -hmm. may be. You should always be looking for ways to make things go a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, now I do. I am totally curious because there are people who do, who use drafts, 
And the reason this kind of comes up this week is because, um, like we've had, you know, some people say how they had stuff in drafts and then they disappeared. Um, that they'd had them in drafts for like less than a month and it disappeared. And it always makes me curious. And again, I'm not saying that it's the wrong way to do it. I guess I just want to hear from you guys, especially you guys who use drafts. Like, what is it about using drafts and going back that you think is beneficial? Like, I don't know, maybe you'll convince me. Um, because in my mind, it just kind of seems like, you know, you start a draft and then you go take pictures and then later on you come back and you fill in the pictures. It feels to me like in my mind, I would be getting interrupted. Steps. Well, I would, it's like, I need to be in the flow and making my listing and going all the way through it and then uploading and then I'm done and there's, I don't have to go back to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas it feels like if I'm doing drafts and then later on I add pictures and then I change details and then like a month later I'm uploading it. I feel like every time I sit down to do something new with that draft, I'm kind of starting like mentally from the beginning because because I'm kind of getting out of that flow. So I don't know, that's just my thought, but I could be totally wrong. And maybe somebody, um, one of you guys is gonna comment down below and you're gonna be like, well, here's what I do and here's why. And I'm gonna be like, what? Mind blown, totally it might change genius. change the whole process, yeah. I don't know, I know you never know. So yeah. I don't know, do you have any other thoughts about, about what you got going on over there? No, I'm hoping to get through 20 new listings today. What? Yep, I've got, I'm starting now, it's 12.15, uh, I'm starting, so we just finished our show, and I'm going to mm -hmm. go until, we generally work until about 7 o'clock, so um, I think I should be able to get 20 new listings up here, and again, very, like very I cool. said, start to finish, it takes me, you know, three, four, five minutes a listing, Lord knows that we all get distracted, I'm always going to have my TV on in the background too, so, I mean, 20 listings is about where I end up for the day, if I did zero distractions, no TV, no Facebook breaks, no answering questions in the boss Facebook group, nothing like that, I would probably be able to do at least 30 listings a day. But the reality is, is I don't, because yeah. I do everything else too. So 20 listings a day is, is usually good for me. Yeah, I, I can do probably, well, if I'm, if I'm working out for a full day, like yesterday, I think I got 28 eBay mm -hmm. listings and like 23 or 24 Etsy listings cross posting so but that was like a full day of listing but anyway guys bottom line you tell us please comment down below let us know what is yeah, it that we works like for these you. interactions and we're really really liking this new little segment here because mm -hmm. I like to interact with you guys and hear what you like and what works for you and hopefully we can teach you each other stuff yeah absolutely so please comment down below let us know you tell us what's your flow what works for you when it comes to listing if you use drafts especially I want to know what's up with that you tell me you tell us <laughs> bye bye